Longevity physician Dr. Peter Atiyah told 60 Minutes recently that there are five or six ways to reduce your microplastic exposure by around 80%, but he didn't say how. Let's talk about it. Firstly, even though I can't source his exact statistic, there is mounting evidence of health concerns with microplastics, including it being linked to things like heart attacks, declining fertility rates, and it disrupting hormones. So let's get into it. Number one, donating blood or plasma. This has been confirmed by randomized control trial to reduce the microplastic levels in your blood. Non-stick pans. A single scratch can release thousands of particles, so replace them for stainless steel, cast iron, or ceramic alternatives. Plastic chopping boards can be switched to wood. And yes, there are alternatives to plastic lunch boxes, but if you don't want to replace them, then in particular, don't reheat your food while in them, switch to a plate or a bowl. You could also switch from plastic bottled water to filtered tap water, as even glass bottled water has been found to contain high levels of microplastics. Now, even though these measures can help, it's important not to get preoccupied with it as it's still under investigation what effects this will have on your long-term health. Do you manage your microplastics? 